Hi, I'm MTG, and welcome to my channel where I waste my wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And today we are checking out a fun rat synergy, I don't know, shenanigans, commander. <laughs> I know words sometimes, whatever. Uh, I'll just jump right into it, so I'll see you in a second. All right, let's check out the commander. We are playing our rat little king here, Kairamox, and... I think this is actually a pretty fun commander to try out just because I think leaning into like rat synergies is going to be a bit of like an underdog kind of approach or maybe under rat is what I should say, pun intended. Uh, <laughs> three. So I like them because they're cheap, obviously they're pretty easy to play on curve. So they're three CMC, have toxic one, other rats you control have toxic one. And when it enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal any number of rat cards from among them and put the revealed cards into your hand then put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. So this was a kind of an interesting rework for me mentally because I left out a lot of like card draw staples that I usually like to use in black and specifically the ones that are like when this creature enters the battlefield or when this creature dies, draw a card, that kind of stuff that I use a lot for sack fodder because I really don't like using Phyrexian Arena or a black market connection, which I know is an unpopular opinion, but I think like at historic brawl like it's pretty risky with like only 25 life to be like losing that much which might make sense you know for this deck because you know we're hoping to win early game anyways with like aggro stuff but that kind of like mana or not mana uh life loss like ability just to draw a card makes me really worried especially again we're only working with 25 life versus in commander you have 40 which you can totally just coast like that for a bit before it becomes a huge problem uh, but with some other cards that we have in here to kind of build on the rat synergy is piper of the swarm and it has uh, some really unique abilities here one where rats you control have menace which is going to be huge for letting our toxic you know rats hit and put toxic counters on our opponents but one of the abilities and i don't know why i remember this so well and it might be like the time that i was like playing you know standard and historic brawl when i first started like you know playing magic pretty intensely and seriously is this ability where you pay for sacrifice three rats and gain control of target creature so i think that's going to be a huge advantage for us as well because this is going to let us steal people's commanders or any sort of creature that's like really problematic for us especially if we're just a bunch of squishies it's going to be tough to like get around maybe like flyers or, and stuff like that too so i also don't feel like people take piper of the swarm that seriously uh because i don't think they realize like what that you know ability to, does with like being able to steal something so because we're in like a rat deck too that's going to be super easy for us to just steal people's stuff the other card that I think is going to be a really interesting lord effect is Maro Nar. It's 5 CMC, so it's a bit expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. And it gives all rats fear. So that, I think, is going to be even better for helping us, again, hit that like toxic uh, counter on our opponents and stuff. And then to try to help close out the game with these like toxic you know counters that we're putting on our opponents, and I'm hoping to you know drop Raska to either help proliferate for that last little bit of like toxic counters that we need, or if we can minus nine to ult and put even more toxic counters on to help us close out the game. So that's kind of like my overview of the deck here. So I'm very excited to jump on in and show you how it does. I'll see you out there. Oh, I zoned out there for a second. <laughs> Let's mulligan because we don't got any rats. Still no rats. I swear I have a ton of rats in this deck. What the heck? Mulligan. There we go. We're all about rats here. Yeah. Just hope for those top decks and they reward you. <laughs> We'll put our, who, excuse me, uh, commander in next. That's oh, Lace, so two. The other thing that's like so risky about like playing this, uh, 
deck is all it takes is like a meat hook to just absolutely destroy our dreams. I'm gonna attack here. I don't think they're gonna part with their Killian. Oh, they are. Okay. I'll take that trade. optimistic here. Exile. Bummer. Uh, take action. And we'll put you in. Then I think with Nykthos... Yeah, never mind. I was thinking like... Maybe we'll have enough to break even there. Use a non land card. Okay. Uh, let's put you into play and you into play and hope we hit some more rats. Rats, rats. No, how are we whipping? Ah! Oh my goodness, this is really bad. Okay, so they got a guardian angle. Uh, put you into play. Let's... I mean, it doesn't matter at this point for... That'll be next turn when we get the value. I think we gotta keep the pressure on, though, because if we don't draw anything helpful... I mean, that's gonna kill our commander. Let's trade with the angel, somehow. <sighs> okay. So we got the other one. Uh, we'll sack you. What are we gonna exile? Uh, Killian. I don't think they have a way to bring anything back, but we'll see. Okay. We'll do all of the above. Oh, sweet. Okay. Put you into play. Let's do this. We will do this. And be sad that we don't have haste. Uh, no attack. But I do plan to try to steal their commander. Because if we can get Piper of the Storm to pop off and we steal Lisa, that's going to be sweet. Okay. I wonder if people don't realize what Piper's other ability is. I'm really curious. Uh, pass. Or maybe they just have a way that they think they can keep it safe? We'll do all the above. Being a little risky here with our life total. Uh, we will sacrifice. Uh, we'll take her. We'll sack you, sack you, sack you. We got that. And... Don't think we want to attack at the moment. Okay, so we got Kaya. I was hoping to get an attack in with the uh, Laesa to gain some life here. Oh, okay. They didn't want to exile their own commander? Interesting, interesting. Well, we'll do this. We will exile Kaya. Oh, I thought I paid the full price there. Okay. Um, let's create a rat. Let's go ahead and attack here, attack here, attack here. I really hope we gain some life because we might be in some serious trouble.
Interesting. Uh, let's draw a card just for the shenanigans. <laughs> okay. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, and it goes back to our hand? That's bananas. This is bananas, y'all. I never really thought one of our win cons was just to steal stuff from our opponents like this. <laughs> this is insane. Okay. Okay. I think they should have with their Kaya exiled their own commander so they could have gotten it back. It's looking good for us so far. Knock on wood, knock on wood. I'm really nervous because all it's going to take is a board wipe too to really set us back. They do have enough for Vanquish the Horde. It's another 4 1. Day of Judgment's the other 4 drop one. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Let's do this. We're pretty set on mana. Okay. I think what we can do here... Let's actually do this. And this. Then we will go ahead and attack. I think that's what we want to do. And then I think just in case, like, they block to kill. Okay. Uh, done. I think what I'm going to do is sack, we'll take control of Lunark, we'll sack you, and we'll sack you, and we'll sack you. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have taken action on that, oh well. I also, maybe not a bad thing in case they actually do get Leisa back. Uh, we didn't want to keep our commander potentially trapped in the command zone. And we do have quite a bit of mana to like, recast it as well. Uh, okay. We can't do anything about that, but again, we're going to be getting like indestructible. Uh, pass. Let's do no blocks. Take that damage. My turn. Uh, we'll just do the treasure token. Huh, there's a couple ways we could do this, I think. We'd start with you. Put you into play. Put you into play. And you into play. Target creature we control. Let's put it on you. We attack in with you and you. And yeah. Okay, math. I forgot they had Minoche. <laughs> GG's. That was a wild game. Lures. I like having a Piper of the Swarm in. Put this in first. Kind of don't want to put this out until we have a bit more of a board state established just because of the potential for it being removed will be very sad. 
think I'll put this in since it'll be good for blocking that decayed zombie. And then I'll probably put Vander in with Kaya's ghost form next. And we will block. play, put you into play, and grab you and grab you, and we'll put this on here to keep our little friend protected, and we'll just chill. Piper survives. I'm thinking we sack. Can we even make enough mana for that? Hmm. We put this in. Is it worth losing a lot of our board state? I don't think it is. So let's put Death Touch on our commander. Hand drop, and let's put this onto the commander. And then I think we'll attack here. And let's attack here. And let's attack here. Poison counters. Or two. Okay. Well, the, yeah, they double blocked there, didn't they? Uh, resolve. And I'm scared about putting in all of my stuff right now. Just because uh, a board wipe would be very sad right now. Okay. use Piper control of target creature so let's sack they can just sack that in response let's take Jadar and we'll sack you we'll sack you and let's do you or let's cancel that and let's attack first actually that's smarter get damage and value off of these friends before sacrificing them because they can only block one thing Yeah, 
Oh, I was gonna say, let's put it in the commander again. But GG's. Giora, sweet. <laughs> this is some of my favorite cards, but we have no rats, so I think we got Stamoli. Okay, this is actually a pretty strong start. We even have removal. Though, ironically, non-artifact creature against a commander that cares about artifacts. But at least it can hit the commander, so maybe not all is lost here. And put in our little one drop. Ooh. Gotta love it when you're hitting your land drops and able to play stuff on curve. Feels good moment. We can put our commander in next and start getting some valuable triggers here. Assuming that they're not going to counter. Okay, so they can't counter our commander now. So let's put this into play, and then we put commander into play. And we whiff. Go ahead and attack. Get two poison counters on. And thinking Piper of the Swarm next is going to be really sweet. Again, gotta hope that we don't have like a burn down the house or any other sort of board wipe, but at this rate, I think we'll be doing pretty darn good. Okay, they're getting Arcane Signet. And they're not quite tapped out. It's all sweet. And let's put in you. We'll go ahead and attack. Ooh. This is very aggressive and a good start. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe this is working out for us the way it is. Uh, I think I'll put it here. Let's put you into play. Put two. You, I think? Yeah, let's do that. Attack, attack, attack. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, down to one. This is nerve wracking here. But Piper, I think, is going to help us a lot. Because everything's going to have Nache. So I think we'll have to go for the throat. Probably the commander or Sai. I think Sai is going to be the best option here. Because that's the only one that's like able to create blockers for them. Okay. So yeah. Let's go for the throat. Hit their blocker there. And... Okay. Ooh. Had to think about that. I was like, do I need to move my equipment over? I think we're good. Ozolith. Oh, dear Neptune. Uh, we are definitely mulligan in this. Okay, I uh, got rats in our hands this time. I think we're just gonna try to put rat colony then our commander in, and then we can worry about, like, ramp kind of secondary, because I think we need to, like, put in damage where we can, or potentially get poison counters in. Here, we're just gonna try to get them with poison counters. No blocks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's put you in tapped. And let's put you in. And we go here. we attack to get those poison counters on. Hopefully that deters them from attacking us here. They're like, oh no, poison counters. Gotta care about that, you know? 
and I'm trying to think of like what other board wipes they could potentially have in this color combo as well. Okay. So I think we put the banner in next and then rat colony. Okay. Thop thop. Oh, sweet. Um, well, let's pay to this. We'll put you in. Let's say black. Put you in. Put you in. And let's go, friends. They have instant speed shenanigans. Bonk, bonk. Okay, two more poison counters on. Oh boy. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, well, let's just do it again. Let's go for it. Thin. Oh, portal to Phyrexia. Uh, let's take action. Oh, god, no! Every time I did it right last turn, <laughs> I think I just lost myself the game with that. Oh boy, that's really funny. Oh, I do that to myself every time. It bugs me so much. I'm sure it's cringe for y'all to watch too. Man, that really messed us up. Ugh, I can't believe I do that to myself so much. Okay, so they got Olamog. Take action. Well, at this point, if they got Ola knocked down, I don't know if I can beat myself up too much for that because don't have a lot of answers to that. Hmm. So they're at 11. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're not even close. Um. This might be it, friends. This might be over. Put you in. Absorb some of the damage. And yep. We have one thing that can actually remove this in the game. Baleful Mastery, I think. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> I should hope that these uh, Olamog and Kozolith would lose to some rats, because that actually would be really funny to picture. Like, these things I could just eat entire planes lose to a bunch of toxic rat boys. <laughs> Oof, down to three. Kaboop. I know I don't have enough mana for it, but let a girl dream. Ugh. Okay. Um, I think we'll just do it for three. Doesn't matter here. We were really, really close. We got them so low. Give them the old good game. Yeah, I don't think me messing up the Kaya thing was going to make a difference anyway, so it would have only put, like, one more poison counter on, and then outside of that, like, they had Olamok and just decimated our board no matter what.
Woo. We'll still throw just this tiny rat in front of an old rock. Uh, GG's. That's such a funny way to picture like this fight going down though. It's Godzilla! I love the Godzilla crossovers that they did. Um. Oh, I almost clicked keep. Uh, I'm gonna take the mulligan. This is a lot better. We have more rats. We have ways to tutor if we need help. And what do you do again? So it's got trample, lethal damage dealt to you. Creatures you control is determined by their power rather than their toughness. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's do this. Let's say, let's give this one perpetual. Can we do multiple? <gasps> oh, that's so good. Oh no, we can't. Okay, psyched myself out. Someday I'll read stuff. Submit. Okay. Death touches clutch. I uh, will put you into play. And we'll, because it can't block. Okay. Bonk. We do need that other uh, land drop though. Seems good. Woo! Never didn't have it, friends. Mm, there's all of our other land drops though. Who needs them? Hopefully our commander won't get removed. I think if we tutor, we'd probably tutor for the Piper. But we do really, really need that other land drop for sure. Uh, we'll take the five here. Okay. Uh, let's do this. And I think we're gonna need to attack here. Or do we leave this one back? Let's leave this one back. Bonk, take five, another poison counter. Okay. We still have another death toucher on the board. is really tough. I think we're going to attack base. What do you get? And they have to... Okay, so we got time in that regard. So I think we need to get those poison counters on, and then we'll do this. Put a body in. And then I think we would have to Diabolic Tutor and hope we hit the Piper. We do have Crux of Fate as well, so hopefully they don't have a dragon or anything. If we could top deck an equipment to give like one more damage boost in. Okay, so we didn't get that. Let's put you in. so intense so if they do any sort of fight spell man if we had one more mana drop like we'd have no problem at all ah uh, this is so nerve-wracking y'all we just needed one more mana and we could have one through drain that way they have to have like something hasty that can kill us here too <gasps> I think we did it, friends. Oh my god, this was insane! Yes! Ah! <laughs> ah! I thought, wouldn't they have been able to kill us if they had attacked? Am I bad at math? 
Oh no, they would have been short and we still would have won with Drain anyways. Oh my god, that was really close. GG's. Alright. The measure of machines versus some ratty boys. Who will win? Uh, keep. Hmm, probably can't cast that anytime soon. This is such a slow hand too. Oh, that's better. Soul Warden, okay. So, thinking it's gonna be all about us, uh, <laughs> getting those poison counters in. Um, I don't see them blocking. Oh, they are! Okay. You know, I'm happy to trade for Esper anytime. Wonder if they have a way to get it out of the graveyard? I'm trying to think. Okay, so they're exiling that. That's fine. Bonk. Okay. We will put in this banner. She's black. Maybe we let them build up their board state a bit. We will probably... Yeah, let's do... Hmm. That's gonna do a lot of damage to us, but I think we probably want to just for the value. And then maybe Bastion of Remembrance can help us get some or, uh, life gain going a little bit here. They haven't put in Elshnorn yet. There we go. Okay. Sweet. Ooh, blood on the snow. Uh, we'll do you and you. And can we do this and get something back? Probably not worth it at this time for blood on the snow. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and destroy all non-dragons. Thanks. Hopefully this black market connections won't kill us. Let's really hope for that. Okay. So, we'll just do that. Because again, I don't want to die to our black market. Uh, let's do this, and we'll try to set up for maybe doing uh, blood on the snow. And then maybe gain some life. Uh, no attacks. Typhoid rats in there. We'd have rat colony. <laughs> okay, we'll put you in front. Gaining a life that we're about to lose to make it treasure. <laughs> mm, just do that. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack. Do we want to wait to do blood on the snow? I think we do actually. So maybe I should have done I should have done this in a different order. And you can yell at me in the comments if you want, I know. I should have put the rat keen in, blah blah blah. But basically I wasn't sure. I thought I was gonna blood on the snow initially. Um, I kind of want them to overcommit their board here too. So I will auto pay sacrifice this token. And my hope is that this gives them confidence a bit more to play like Elshnorn or something else they care about. So if we do blood in the snow, that'll do a lot of damage and we get our rat back. So that's kind of where my head's at right now. just wants to hurt us. Ooh, we're gonna take three. Ah, I'm scared. Okay. Uh, we will go ahead and attack. I take it. That's what I was hoping for. I gotta say, we didn't necessarily have a plan B. Uh, destroy all creatures. Uh, pay. 
and we'll sack you. Gain a life. And let's get back rat colony. And we'll decline because I remember Kaya's form. Woo! Celebration. I remembered things. <laughs> Okay, they got Ellie. They got their little Ellie. Let's do treasure. Card draw? Question mark? Aw, heck yeah. We're, we're gaming. <laughs> this is nuts. Okay. I'm so nervous about this black market killing us though. But I am like, why not? Let's just get the card draw. Oh man. Getting them low. Again, pretty nervous here with our own black market potentially killing us. Myro, okay, we don't really care at this point. Hit a land drop, we will do... Do we do it? I think we risk it. Let's do it. Okay, boom. Let's put in you. you. Alright friends, let's go to combat. We have Ashnod's intervention. Okay, so their life total is not going to change here. Bonk. 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 Uh. Okay. I think we're fine with that. And if our life total gets dangerously low, we could try to sack fire something to Phyrexian Tower. Okay. This is going to be such a close match. This is why I also really, really, really don't like playing with Black Market Connections, because I hate this. Okay, so we are going to gain a little bit of life here. We'll put something in front of you, something in front of you. And bonk, bonk. Gain life. Okay. Oof. Uh, oh, I guess I could have used Astronaut's intervention there. Oh well. Uh, we'll just do treasure. And we'll put this into play. We'll put you into play. And I think... We have it because if they block any of our stuff, they are gonna lose to drain anyways. Okay, GG's. Woo! Black market connections, man. Phyrexian Arena on top of that scares me every time. I usually don't play with these cards, but I wanted to keep to the rat theme, so here we are. <laughs> All right, this deck. Holy heck, performed much better than I was expecting, especially considering how some of my test games went. But, woo, when we went to go record, was this deck doing the things we needed it to do? <laughs> but as far as, like, cards that I think really stood out to me, uh, just in general for, like, MVP cards that I like to shout out is I think Piper of the Swarm was just huge between the, men the menace for, like, giving any sort of evasion effects, but then also just being able to steal, like, you know, what we did earlier was steal Lyasa and take someone's commander away from them. So with that like ability there, I think this card just is so critical for this deck's success. The other card that I think was really important for us is Kaya's Ghost Form when I did not uh, decline <laughs> the triggers for that. Uh, but mainly I think people see the word toxic or poison and it kind of makes them I think panic. So you know, our rat being a common removal target, like having Kaya's ghost form is just really key. Or even if like a board wipe happens, even if it's like farewell, at least our commander is still able to come back with Kaya's ghost form. So overall, I think like having an ability to either, you know, bring our commander out of the graveyard or, you know, some sort of recursion, like protection effect is going to be really key for this deck strategy because I think it leans really heavily into the fact that you want to give your rats like toxic and it does eat a lot of removal. So I think 
putting some protection pieces in for your commander is going to be really key for the success of whatever version of your deck that you build. But yeah, so I hope you had fun. Um, this deck was really awesome again. <laughs> it was. I'm happy that I can't remember who it was, but someone requested this commander. So thank you for requesting that. And anyways, uh, that's all I have for you. So have a good one and bye.